I must do something. I cannot stay silent. These are the words I told myself on Monday, October 1st. This is because October is Down Syndrome Awareness Month. I do not have Down Syndrome, but I do know people who do, and I also know people who help others that have Down Syndrome. My reasons for making this video are to raise awareness and to speak up. Speaking up means expressing your thoughts out loud, which is good for mental health. So it is good for me, but it is also a good way to spread information. The information I am wanting to spread is about people with Down Syndrome, that they are humans, that they have a syndrome, that they do not suffer from the disease, that they need normal rights, they need normal care, and they need normal support. They do not need to be mocked or ostracized, just like everyone. They need the opportunities to succeed, just as everyone does. I use the word normal as opposed to special, as in special education. This is because at the beginning of my life, I was in special education for two academic years and summer school, and I can still recall those days with my classmates. There was my best friend Alex, who liked Darkwing Duck. There was Eric, the boy in the walker. There was David. He had trouble closing his lips, so when he kissed her on the cheek, it was always wet, and his dad was a police officer, which is very, very cool when you're a little boy. There was the older boy, Kyle. He had a blanket and an assistant all to himself. This was never out of the ordinary because having different needs than your classmates is never special, only normal. There was Miss Kathy, the bus driver, and Miss Kathy, the teacher. And it is only in hindsight that I find it odd that some people should think a bus driver and teacher should have different amounts of respect or command different amounts of authority. When someone helps you, especially an adult, you should respect them and listen to them and thank them. I also remember Ellie, a girl with Down syndrome. Ellie may, in fact, be the first crush I ever had. Eric and Ellie both lived in the same neighborhood as I did, and we were always the last three on the bus before I headed to school, and for some reason that's always stood out as a connection between us. According to the National Down Syndrome Society, a website which I will provide the link to down in the description, people with Down Syndrome have been recognized in art and in description long before John Langdon Down published his codified description of the syndrome in 1866. And it is a syndrome, or perhaps we can call it a condition, but we should not call it a disease. It is caused by the development of an extra copy of chromosome 21. Chromosomes carry genes, which informs how the human body is formed. This extra copy of chromosome 21 is what causes the syndrome, which causes the body to develop differently, or perhaps not according to average or not typical, because the NDSS strongly suggests against saying that a person with Down syndrome is not developing normally. The most striking features are in the face. And I love the way that the NDSS website discusses these differences. They say a few of the common physical traits of Down syndrome are low muscle tone, small stature, an upward slant of the eyes, and a single deep crease across the center of the palm. Although, and here it is, Although each person with Down syndrome is a unique individual and may possess the characteristics to different degrees or not at all. The wording makes it click to me how little it matters what the genes do and how much it matters to treat everyone as a human. It can be disheartening to learn that many of our attributes are decided by something we have no control over, our genes. But we must remember that our genes do not decide our ultimate outcome. Think of it like this. If I have the genes for blonde hair, then the hair I grow 
will be blonde. But I still am free to color it whatever color I wish. I can even shave all the hair off of my head. Thus being a person with the gene to blonde hair, but categorically not having blonde hair. Genes are excellent for describing how we start out, but they can't tell us where we will end up. The video, Just Like You, Down Syndrome, I will also provide a link in the description, brings this idea even tighter, with the children discussing how their genes make them individuals. Some kids are born with blonde hair, and some kids with brown hair. Some kids are born with Down Syndrome, other kids are not. Some kids are born with blonde hair and Down Syndrome, because every person is a unique mix of genes. Just like how not everyone has blonde hair, not everyone has Down Syndrome, but everyone, regardless of where you start out in life, can always be a good friend. It is time to return to Ellie and the bus route, and a sadder memory this time. Time has passed for all of us. For me, it's been six years in a private school, struggling to make friends. The struggle is caused not entirely for the same reasons that found myself in special education preschool, but certainly not apart from it. I suppose educational environment was also a factor, as I can remember one of my friends, a classmate that I got to hang out with after school, commenting on the stark difference in how I acted outside of school versus how I acted during school. The private school kept me out of the public school district environment, which had affected my preschool. But I returned to public school in sixth grade. I was thrust into a new world completely different from the private schooling or the special education schooling environments. I caught glimpses of the special education kids in the hallways, going about their day, and Ellie was among them. But my most prominent memory in middle school of Ellie is the reason I must speak up. Ellie still lived in my neighborhood, and we still got on the same bus with a few other kids headed to the same school. One day, I heard two boys laughing as they talked to Ellie. They had asked her to repeat a foul phrase, and she did. I cannot say for certain that Ellie did not know what it meant, but it was obvious that the boys were assuming that she didn't. Their joy came from tricking her. Their laughter was because a girl with Down syndrome said what they told her to say, and it was something inappropriate. The horrible thing I reflect on is that how much identity can overlap. That boys without Down syndrome are expected to know these horrible words. Girls without Down syndrome should be subjected to these words. And girls, and perhaps boys, with Down syndrome should be told to say these words. And it is funny because they do not understand them. This is not right. This is not appropriate. It is not a good way to act. And it is not how we should treat others. I have talked about Down syndrome and other special needs in this video. Although I hope you realize there are big quotation marks around special. And it should actually be normal needs or just needs. It is important to understand that the situations we are born into need to be handled with care. And Down syndrome is a good situation to look at as one specific issue to represent the myriad of issues we can have. But I do not want to create a hierarchy of which issues are worse or better or easier or harder. And I certainly do not want to diminish Down syndrome. Down syndrome is a real struggle, but it is not insurmountable. My first point is that special is normal because everyone has difficulties and helping someone with their difficulties is how you show your love to them. The second point is this, be aware of Down syndrome, not just in knowing what it is, but that is certainly important. And I would absolutely love if people would Follow the links in the description, the NDSS website and the YouTube video both helped me in understanding. Not just being aware of the definition and what causes it, but being aware of it in real life. Being aware that it is something that affects people 
being aware that it affects humans, that there are people who have it, and that there are people who are helping those who have it, and being aware of what they need, and being aware that they need respect, and that you should treat those people with every bit of respect that you feel you yourself deserve, especially the respect you feel you deserve if you were going through a struggle and other people didn't understand it. So please be aware in all senses of the word of Down Syndrome. Thank you for listening and have a good day.